however great a sinner may have been, if he shows himself devout to Mary, he will never perish. Hello, everyone. Today is the feast day of St. Hilary of Poitiers. Hilary was born in France in the 4th century to a rich pagan parent. Although he was raised as a pagan, his philosophical inquiries and study of sacred scripture led him to the Christian faith at the approximate age of 30. Three years after becoming a Christian, he was elected Bishop of Poitiers, which is now France by the laity and clergy against his will. His main task was to battle the affliction of the church in the fourth century, which was the Arianism heresy. The Arians did not believe in the divinity of Christ. They had a lot of power at the time, including support of the emperor Constantius, who was the father of the first Christian emperor, Constantine. The emperor commanded all the bishops of the West to sign the con condemnation of Athanasius, who was the defender of the faith in the East. Hilary refused, and so he was exiled. In exile, he saw a public debate with the heretical bishop who had exiled him. The Arians, dreading the meeting, begged the emperor to send him back home. In 361, Constantius' death ended the persecution of the Christians. Hilary died in the year 368 and was proclaimed the doctor of the church in 1851. He was a gentle and courteous man who was known for being a famous philosopher and for his champion work of Orthodox Trinitarian theology. Let us pray. St. Hilary of Poitiers, you pray. The chief service I owe you, O oh God, is that every thought or word of mine would be to speak to you. Help us to always put God above all things. St. Hilary of Poitiers, pray for us to become holy. Amen. See you tomorrow.